He was Judge Dwed's best friend, uh, I mean friend, whether Dredd liked it or not. He is Walter the Wobot. If there's one thing a strip about an authoritarian future cop needs, it's a comic relief in the guise of a sickeningly obsequious servant robot with a speech impediment. Walter was created by John Wagner and Carl Suskela, first appearing in 2008 Prog 10 in 1977. A meek and slightly annoying comedy foil, he nonetheless helped him bring down both the out-of-control robot revolutionary Call Me Kenneth and the insane tyrant Chief Judge Cal. After helping bring victory in the first robot war, Walter, now with his trademark lisp, became the first free robot in Mega City 1, yet chose to stay as a servant to Dredd, whom he idolised. Along with Dredd's housekeeper Maria, Walter became a recurring character, even following Dredd when he was put in charge of a colony on the moon. He helped overcome Cal in The Day the Law Died, and even provided a little light relief in the Apocalypse War. Pathologically loyal to Dredd, much to the lawman's constant irritation. While Walter was usually more of a nuisance than an actual help, Dredd did maintain a degree of fondness for the sycophantic droid. Walter had a series of solo adventures, comical one-pagers with a punchline mostly drawn by Brian Bolland, but as Judge Dredd matured as a strip, John Wagner and Alan Grant attempted to do away with him in Destiny's Angels. Rejected by Dredd, a dejected Walter wanders the streets on a downward spiral to the scrap heap. But Wagner brought him back in the early 90s. After the horrors of Necropolis, Walter set up his own used droid company. Despite dismissing Dredd, Walter remained pathetically infatuated with his former master. After constant rejection and the loss of his business, Walter decided Call Me Kenneth had the right idea all along and started his own rebellion. With his forces defeated, Walter nonetheless shot his former master before he was blown to pieces by Cadet Giant. Still a free citizen, he was rebuilt and sent to prison for 30 years. But he was freed from jail during the Second Robot War and now, reformed, begged Dredd to be reprogrammed. Instead, Dredd ordered him to help the elderly, deaf and myopic Mrs. Gunderson. Together, they ran her Judge Death-themed tourist attraction and tried, unsuccessfully, to keep out of trouble. But what can you say about Walter? I have to admit, I'm not his biggest fan, but you can't deny his important place in the lore of Judge Dredd. Without his comedic turn, it's arguable that epics like the Apocalypse War would have been poorer. And whether you love him or hate him, you have to admit that even old Stonyface owes him a favour or two. Well, make sure you like and subscribe to the 2080 YouTube channel, Earthlets, as next week we let slip with Wardog.